Right, on this demonstration what I'm going to show you is how to actually upgrade the firmware of Monowall uh, once you've actually uh, flashed your compact flash card um, and uh, you've had it running for a couple of months and uh, Monowall's brought out a new uh, firmware. Uh, so this is uh, just a quick tutorial as to how to uh, upgrade uh, the firmware on your uh, flash card without actually reflashing it. Um, so what we're going to do is go to uh, Monowall's homepage and we click on, uh, I'm actually running a beta version so I'm just going to uh, upgrade my beta version of it so we click on downloads uh, I'm actually running a generic uh, PC so I'm going to click on that to download it and I'm going to select my location right so there we go so we download it from there I've already uh, gone through and downloaded it so I'm not going to uh, bother downloading this um, so there we go so that's downloading the latest version once you've downloaded it and it's uh, saved onto your desktop what you want to do is log in to your mono wall box uh, there we go. HTTP there we go okay and so what we're going to do is scroll down to uh, diagnostics and it's okay so we go to upgrade firmware so that's at the top under system and it's uh, firmware and what we're going to do is click on enable firmware update and this then gives us the option to select a file that we want to upgrade it uh, to uh, as I say this one is actually uh, uh, version 1.3b2 uh, I think it is uh, so I'm actually going to upgrade it to uh, 1.3b7 uh, so we're just going to click on browse and uh, then select the firewall, uh, the mono wall image. There we go. So that's the one that I'm going to upgrade it with. And then just click on upgrade firmware. And there we go. So uh, it says that uh, the new firmware is going to be installed and uh, the firewall will reboot automatically. Um, so what you want to do is if uh, it's a PC, then you'll be able to see it booting up. Uh, if it's uh, the um, the uh, board from uh, the PC Engines uh, website. Uh, what I would uh, probably do is run a ping to the box just to make sure that it's uh, it's you know, booting up. So I'll just uh, ping my box as that's that's the uh, IP address of it. So what we'll do is uh, when it boots up, we'll see uh, these uh, we'll see uh, responses to our ping request. Um, so I'll come back when this is actually uh, doing uh, pinging. Okay, so as you can see that we've actually got uh, pings from the box, so that means it's uh, back up and it's running. Um, one thing I should point out is that uh, you will not need to, uh, you know, go through and change any settings or anything like that because uh, uh, because all the settings are actually stored in a uh, the XML file. Uh, when you reflash the uh, card or upgrade the firmware uh, in this sense. Um, it just pulls all the configuration details back from the XML file and uh, everything should be um, as you left it before you uh, upgraded it. Uh, one thing I should point out also is that uh, when you go to upgrade the firmware, take a, uh, a, a backup um, of the box. So you just go down to where it says diagnostics and uh, backup straight restore. Um, just take a backup of it just in case anything uh, happens you've got a backup of how your system was before you, um, you know, upgraded the firmware and you can easily put it back if this is a, a live box and uh, uh, you, it um, messes up somehow um, so there we go I uh, hope you like this, uh, this little demonstration uh, thanks for watching